Basically, I know when when I last left off with this game, I was here on Zealot difficulty, and I faced the final boss. I won't say anything for much of it, so as not to spoil it for you lot. But um, I've collected about an hour and a half of raw footage of me running from this save point to the end fight and dying repeatedly. So then I reloaded an earlier save from just after the eye poking needle in the eye machine. And I bought a contact beam because I thought that might help. And then I realised I've not got enough power nodes. So I was like, that doesn't help. So I didn't play Dead Space for a couple of, Dead Space 2 for a couple of days. And then I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna play through the game on normal. Just because, you know, just so I can re enjoy it. And then I can do the final boss battle with more weaponry and on slightly easier difficulty. So that's what I've done, that's why I'm in this suit. I did buy the advanced one, but I changed it back because then I could get a power node cheaper. Don't judge me. So yeah, that's just uh, why I'm now in a vintage suit and why I, have no I now have a load of cool weapons. Bam. I've not actually fought the final boss. I've not actually beat the boss yet, so um, who knows what will happen. Go. This is my javelin gun. Guns, javelins. Yes, I know. Also, apparently you can kill the Uberwolf, which is the hunt, the regenerating one, in that. I haven't tried, obviously, because I didn't have the force scar. I do now, though. Let's reload it. Good idea. Good idea. This entire was swarming with net mobs over there. <laughs> it's funny because I've hardly ever died on this play. The only time I've died is twice, I think. And one was when I got sucked through a window that I didn't realise was going to blow up. Um, and the other time was um, after I fell out of a tram and the door hit me, like the first time. It's just in the hand. Don't worry about it, Isaac. Shut up, Anakin. Fatality. I like how he's still capable of, like, you know, exacting horrible vengeance on me when half of his nose is missing. That's gonna come in. <clears throat> Thank you, Isaac. Now, time to die. What? Ah! Inception. We need to go deeper. Mars is the last body we need to be reborn. The Maker's last body. Isaac's get brain is very boring. Stross is also a maker. Not if we can sue you first. God damn it, I trusted you. Fuck I trusted you. my brain. Oh, snap, Isaac. Oh, shit. I 
see a pack in the corner. Oh, the marker's blown up. That's weird. I'm guessing there was like a link between the marker's brain and Isaac's brain. I mean, like, you know, there was already, but I'm guessing it was a very solid connection. Do anything, Isaac? When I played that on Zilla, I actually managed to get to like five rounds, if you will, rounds being every time I finished off the pack and had to shoot Nicole to blow up the marker. But that's the furthest I ever got and it was still bleed wasn't bleeding that bad. Are you gonna escape Isaac? But you can look slightly moody. Was it all worth it? Oh come on, this you can't end it like this. That's not that is not this is not a good job gunner, right? Turn your mind. You can't just end it like that. It's like, oh, I just performed Inception on myself, and then suddenly, oh, he has some really weird legs. Look at those legs. Complete <laughs> bastard. Oh, Was this your nice. great plan? Dump me off and die. How does she know that? Well, that ideas, remember? Yeah, well, here's another one. I'm crashing through the roof to get you. What? Now move your ass. Wait, no, oh, it's too late. So clear of the station. Yeah, well, you don't really have a say this time. Heads up. Looking up. Did she just crash? Oh, yeah, she's in the security dungeon, isn't she? Well, look at those uh, engines on the back. It's like the, uh, uh, you know, the one the combine used in Half-Life 2. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay. Still going. Still going. Ugh, stay away from me, Mark. Yeah, it looks just like the combine one. And that's cool. Ah! Not sure these can't get me. Ah! No, let's go down, let's go down. Oh, mind the engine. Mind the engine. Good job. Isaac! Take my hand! I'm trying! Who's steering the ship? Steer the ship! Oh, okay. Oh. What, we flew out? That's some mighty fine machine spirit this ship's got. For the Omnissiah. Ooh, it's like the end of Dead Space 1. Except he's got some weird shadow about his nose. Wait, yeah, look at it, it looks like Dotty. Uh, deja vu? I don't know what you're talking about. fourth wall. What, is, is there going to be a Nicole on the ship as well? We defeated Nicole, she's gone, she can't jump out. Go away, Nicole. Go away. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Uh. Alright, guys, that was uh, Dead Space 2. Sorry, I took a lot longer. I died a lot more. Would. And I had to complete the final boss on normal. I'm a failure. Anyway, hope you guys um, enjoyed this playthrough. I, I really did actually. This is um, you know, like one franchise that I wouldn't mind seeing continued. I know it is going to be continued, but um, I'm really glad they're going to continue it because it's very solid. It's got good gameplay. It's got a good story. You know, multiplayer. Sure, you play that. Need it actually. Ah, oh, well. oh, suddenly. Oh, so much potential, they're wasted. Um, yeah, there's just so much here that can be expanded on. And I, I will buy Dead Space 3 when it comes out. It will come out. Because this is a good franchise. I'd be mad not to continue it. And it's like, you know, this is an example of a good franchise. It's not like, you know, Call of Duty where like a week, like a month after Black Ops was announced. They, um, you know, yeah, we're going to be making Modern Warfare 3. And we're going to get three studios into it so you can pump it out in time for November. Sick. You know, this is really good. It's like, it's, um, I think I mentioned this during when I was playing it. I can't quite remember it was quite a while ago, though. This is Aliens to Alien. Alien was more like, oh, look, you're all alone. It's all, you know, it was all very sort of industrial. And even in the ship design, it was all industrial and everything. But in this, it's more like Aliens, where there were, you could tell there were people living here. And it was, you couldn't tell they were living here because there were bodies in the rest, because there were like houses and there were rooms and stuff. Ooh, 
that doesn't make sense. They were like, you know, people and like a, ver a change of scene on it, you know, you know, in the nursery, that was that was really good. They went through like shopping centres, all sorts, you know. You know, it was all really good, so and obviously it was a lot more badass, like Isaac was, because even though they made him talk and they said we're not gonna make him like you know, like sort of like a Duke Nukem type hero where he'll just like spout witty one liners. Which I don't mind in a game, I think that's good fun, but you know, in this they sort of made him a believable hero, which I think is really good. Um, yeah, Wabi Sabi Sound Incorporated. Skywalker. Skywalker. Hmm. Also, what was with the iPod machine? I mean, I get, I can see like how that made sense from a story perspective, but. They not. They just did that because they were like, "Oh, we'll just make everyone squirm at home." Because even when you know I was re replaying this through for normal, I got to that bit and I was like, <gasps> and I was getting worked up and everything. And then my cat came in and rolled across the keyboard and I stabbed myself in the eye and killed myself. I was like, "Damn it! God damn it!" And then I did it again. And it was like, all okay. <sighs> but Dimitri. Procure, 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 I'm not sure. Hmm. Q and Q and Oh, back on the menu, menu music now. Shanghai. What have Shanghai got to do with this? I guess there are a lot of people in the game who died. Well, are we stealing them from Shanghai? I don't think they've noticed. So. Hmm. Arts version. Johnson. This game, yeah, as as it comes out, artist. I think this game is very. Um, creative and how it goes about it because it's all very futuristic. You can tell that you know Isaac's helmet is now he doesn't take it off. It it sort of like retracts, kind of like Transformer style. But at the same time, it's a very sort of a dark future. It's not like you know Warhammer 40,000 grim dirt future. Like this copy machine runs on the blood of orphans and things like that. It's just sort of very uh, dystopian future. Like even you know like the holograms and everything and the way that all comes up, they all look broken. They, they were sort of stuck or anything, and that, that goes real, like, really contributes to giving the game a good atmosphere. Character artists, very... Zi Jin Le. Oh my god, Wu Zhu. Oh my god, it's Wu Bu. Additional ink, Jeremy Bernstein. Mm -hmm. dead outside. Richard Doyle. You know, it was just a really good game. Oh wow, and I recommend, even if you've just watched me play this, you should still go and, you know, buy it, because it's... I mean, you know, 2011 is going to be an amazing year for gaming, there's just so much stuff coming out, it's ridiculous, but this is this is a really good way to start the year. I think this, this bodes well for, like, all the coming things. I mean, what we've got coming out this year, there's, like, Mass Effect 3, I'm going to be getting that, but I'm not going to let us play that, because too much, way too much. This ran to, like, 30 something videos, 40 videos I think, and this is a single player campaign, but Mass Effect 3 is going to do like, uh, uh, Dragon Age 2, not sure about that, that looks kind of dumbed down I think in some regards, compared to Dragon Age Origins, which I've still not finished, because that's like, I've played like that for like 20 hours and I've still not finished the storyline, I'm stuck in the, the Dwarf City, I don't know what to do, <laughs> I'm getting memory leaks, but that's the thing that everyone has, so, damn it, Bioware. Uh, there's Dead Island, that was announced a couple of days ago, that's coming back with a very nice trailer, which obviously isn't representative, representative of the game, but, you know, everyone likes a good trailer. It's like, um, you know, that Star Wars MMO that Bioware are doing, like Bioware, uh, and they did that, those trailers, and then got like, massive pre-rendered Star Wars trailers, and they're awesome, and then you look at the game, and it's like, oh, it's an MMO. Not sure about that. Oh, what else is coming out this year? There are loads of games coming up, I can't quite remember them. Like if someone says to me, I'll be like, oh that, yeah, I can't wait for that. That's really been on my mind, but right now I just can't remember any of them. Uh, Retribution's coming out, so you don't want to do Retribution, I'm looking forward to that, I've got the beta and everything. I'm planning to do the campaign, don't want to with no attack at the moment. We're doing that co-op, and so good fun, I'm going to run last with that. Um, uh, what else is there, what else is coming out? Uh, the Space Marine game, that actually looks quite good. 
honestly. So I will, I'll, if that, that is coming to PC, I think so. I'll, I'll, I'll probably play through that, you know. PC ports any good. It will be. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what else is going to I don't even know why I'm still talking. No one's probably going to watch this. They'll be like, okay, it's finished the game. Fuck off. Is there an Easter egg after the credits? There might be. Is that like question and answer support? Do we need support for that? I just don't know if I can answer these questions. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Tap on that. EA and ATC. What's NATC? Yeah, I've got a feeling. I think someone mentioned it. I can't quite remember if they did, but there is apparently something after the, this. After the. So I'm gonna wait. EA Canada. Oh, EA Tiburon has got not, not got many staff. La Plata Argentina. Cool. Also Brotherhood's coming to PC. Just remember that as Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, so that'd be good. I believe they're removing the crappy DM. They've removed it from Assassin's Creed 2, which I've been playing on PC. Well I've played it. You know. Edge of your seat for none of that. Stopping the Pope's bollocks to find dust and paste. She'll show it in. Her brother's coming to PC though, so you know, I'm not that much sure. Remove the they removed the DRM, mostly, from Assassin's Creed 2. You only need to be online to start the game, I think. Which is kind of better, I guess. But this is made by Visceral Montreal, so. There's a Visceral London. all of 2010. Wow, so they made this in, ten, in a year. I don't know how long it takes games, like, them to make games, but I don't think a year is that long, I'm guessing. You know, a lot of this was done before 2010, but they only really started working on the actual game itself. Not like before then. Come on, Easter Egg. Make this worth it. Make it worth it. Come on. You better be there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Easter Egg. This is Flight yes. Team EG9 to control. We have completed the flyby. There's nothing left. I repeat, Titan Station has been completely I blew destroyed. Up the moon. And the marker. Negative. Nothing survived this, sir. Marker Site 12 is a total loss. Site 12? Recall all flights and return to base. The other sites will have to pick up the pieces. Hmm, so I'm guessing there are... I will do. I'm guessing there are ten other sites then. I, mean, I assume a le uh, one of the sites was Aegis a 7. You know, from the first game, the planet, so... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you see, this is... me being a boss. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that set. I am Slegalosius, so I'll get back to you with my next Let's Play. I have not a bloody clue what it will be, honestly. <laughs> um, I really hope you enjoyed this game. I did. I really did. So, um, yeah. Goodbye.